Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as those might be meant for someone else. All right, so we have current situation, and then we have the challenge. All right, we have need to focus on past your strengths, near future, advice, environment, like the environment, hopes and fears, potential outcome. Okay, so overall I feel like there's a situation that you have to deal with that is not a happy one and that you thought you had moved past it, but you really haven't. That you're still bringing it up, that you're still thinking about it, and that you have to get into this tower energy and really restructure, like really get past it. And I feel like the tower has definitely been coming out a lot for Capricorn. And like I've said before, I feel like Capricorn is going through a lot of changes. I feel like it's a lot of self-discovery, self-realizations. Um, I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising, so I'm definitely going through those things. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of change, so I feel like that's why the tower keeps coming out for Capricorn. And it's all of these things, and sometimes when we think that we're past something that we're really still holding on to a little bit of it or it still keeps coming up or you still keep thinking about it, right? That you still keep hanging on to something. So I feel like that's kind of what you're doing is that you're, you're not able to find that guidance to move forward is because you're still holding on to something. You're still going back to something. There's still a little hope for something or there's still something that hasn't been resolved that you're still hanging on to and I feel like it's kind of hearing that message is that the reason why you're stuck and the reason why you're not able to move forward is because you're still holding on to something. I feel like you need to reach out. <laughs> I feel like you need to reach out. I feel you need to let this go. Um, however that represents to you, if it's just writing it down on paper and then burning it or it like, for some reason I'm seeing like one of those little boats that people make and then they just kind of put those little papers or they put things in the boat and then they just kind of let it sail away. Um, could be like that message in a bottle that, oh look at that, <laughs> the devil card just came flying out. I kind of feel like maybe that goes there because that's where that fell. And look at that. Look at this. That's why. Because look at how this nine of wands is looking right at the devil card. That toxic energy kind of looking towards the past. You keep hanging on to something on the past. Something that's negative. Negative energy. Negative thoughts. Um, things that were holding on to you. Um, yeah, so what I was saying is like, um, just releasing it in some way, even if you just like put it in your pool or something or you put it in and, you, and it kind of sails away, but then maybe you put some rocks on it and then it sinks or, you know, because you don't want to have like personal information in there. But, you know, kind of just kind of those ideas or like making a little boat and then having some stones or something and then just kind of say, okay, this stone is attached to this, this stone is attached to that and then just have it sail away or just put it in the water. You know how like when you drop a penny in a wishing well, a wishing fountain or something, you know, you kind of just, it sinks to the bottom, but it could be like having a rock or a stone and saying, okay, this is that energy and that's how I release it. Like whatever works for you. But I feel like there's definitely something that you have to release, something from your past that was negative energy or that was going on, relationships, whatever that represents to you. And I feel like you need to let it go because you keep looking at it. You keep going back to it. Um, and I feel like it's being strong enough to realize, okay, yeah, that is what I'm doing. And that is why I'm, st I'm stuck with this star. Like I'm, I'm not feeling guided. I'm not feeling directed. I'm not feeling like um, I have hope or I've lost hope or, you know, that struggling with those. 
All right, so we have your strengths and we have the three of wands and we have, I feel like when you're able to communicate that you're, that I feel like you take time to think about what it is that you want to say or how you want to release it. But then when you release it, like you finally let it go, like it clears the air, like you're over it and you're done with it. All right, we have the near future and we have the five of cups. Definitely. I feel like it's seeing that these there are three spilt cups here, but I also feel like that you turn things around and you see that the two cups are behind you. It's handling a difficult situation, so I feel like that's what's coming in for you, but don't look at it as something negative. Look at it as something positive, that you're releasing it, that you're finally able to release this energy that you've been holding on to. It's almost like this page of swords, again, is looking down that line to be able to get rid of that energy. And, and if that's coming in, don't look at it as a negative, but turn it around and look at it as a positive. And then we have the advice, we have the tower. Okay, how do you restructure things? Taking things down to the basics, right? Um, and then moving forward with the nine of wands and then being able to move forward from it, moving forward from the situation. We have the environment, which I love that because it's the Ten of Cups. It's that happiness. It's that stability. It's that, you know, it's the reason why these are happening is for you to see that you're holding on to this so that you can let that go and you can start focusing on your Ten of Cups, that you can come into your own power. Like, you're in charge of making this happen. It's up to you to have this happen. It's up for you to make these changes, right? That you're powerful, that you are in control of your own Ten of Cups. And realizing that hopes and fears, definitely we have the hopes and fears is having to handle a difficult situation is never easy and dealing with um, situations that are not pleasant. But we also have the hopes, which I feel is the sun, right? Ho fears, everything's going to go wrong. Hopes are that everything's going to go right, right? Um, it's all your perspective and how you see it. What is it that you want to focus on? Yes, there's going to be some challenging times, but it leads to the sun energy. We have the potential outcome. I lo love that. Look at that. Because that's what we started wa with was the judgment. Is, is You're not hearing the message that you're holding on to something, right, that is not helping you. But as we go through this process and that realization and you deal with the situation, Look at that. We end with the judgment card. How perfect is that? Couldn't be any more better than that, right? Couldn't be any more clear that the Six of Swords is she's going right to the judgment card and saying, I finally hear the message. I finally get it. I finally am coming into my own power. I finally realize that this is what I have to deal with. Contract. This one flipped right over. It's having that contract with yourself and saying that if there's a situation that's difficult, that I need to take care of it and I need to deal with it whichever way is best for me. Writing that contract to yourself and saying I'm not going to put myself in this energy again. I'm not going to let that control me. right? I'm not going to let that bother me. All right, we have flexible. Being able to go back and forth, being able to see things from all sides. It's, I almost feel like it's kind of like the hangman. It's like seeing things from a different perspective and like real, being flexible in the situation here where you turn it around, right? That you're not just, if it's something that you're focusing on that's negative, how do I turn that around? Being flexible to say, how do I turn that around? All right, let's get a Star Dragons. Okay. You like this one? We have trust, love, and friendship. But I feel like it's that trust that you have within yourself that this is something that needs to be done in order for you to reach this energy here, right? Okay, so let's get an animal oracle. Watch your words. Again, I feel like it has to do with... Um, making sure that before you speak up, before you say anything, making sure that you are clear on what it is that you want to say or you want to do or you want to release um, and to not react out of anger because I feel like that's just going to make the situation worse and it's going to make more for you to have to deal with and more for you to have to get through and more for you to have to handle. So I definitely feel like, yes, it's time for you to speak up. It's time for you to say something. It's time for you to release. But I also feel like being careful in the way that you do it, that you're not in defensive mode where it 
causes more problems. That's just something to be aware of. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.